Yeah, when Nick was a, a young boy, uh, realisation um, on our part that he had a soft spot for Carlton, um, which didn't sit too well, so... Uh... had nothing to do with our doing it uh, clearly we we were always off to Collingwood games but there's so much football being played these days kids make up their own mind so the first part of that is him coming home and um, uh, wanting to go to Carlton games then getting a Carlton jumper and then standing up um, even a Collingwood games uh, bringing his Carlton flag along so uh, but we've finally got him back the other way and um, I think that probably started to turn in 2010 but uh, look there there was always that underlying Collingwood thing. I think he, he's just got a, a genuine love of um, football and, and uh, a lot of clubs. Yeah, it feels really good to have Nick join Josh at Collingwood. Um, we're thrilled and, you know, Collingwood's a huge part of our football uh, family and in passion and everything, so it just feels really good. Probably an old line, but uh, it's been a long journey, so just to, to officially Getting, getting him into the fold um, is really nice and, and just adding to what Cole said, I think um, you know to see both boys run out is, is, is going to be fantastic. Now who's going to be wearing Josh's number? Who's going to be wearing... <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear the badges. Uh, I'll go with, yeah. I'll certainly wear the badges. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't separate the boys. Both boys get equal, uh, equal parts, so um, yeah. So since the age of 13, 14, it's something I've worked towards every day. And luckily enough, I've seen Josh um, go through the experience. So it, it has felt like it's been a long wait, but to know that it's finally happened is very exciting. And, and the boys have always been close. So ever since a young age, I mean, it, you know, clearly my love of football um, extended into the boys going to games and going to parks and then the boys playing. So they've always had an underlying love of, you know, playing in the same team, um, which I, I'm sure is like uh, any any kids out there with their siblings. So now it, it, it comes to fruition and they're going to get that opportunity, which is um, just fantastic. And us as parents, well, we couldn't be happier that they're doing something they love and doing it together. Oh, look, uh, I think I think we'll have a little bit of relief. I think we're really looking forward to to him just getting getting to the line and and getting to to Collingwood and and commencing his career. I think we'll probably take a, a big breath, Cole, and and, yeah. and probably go off and have a quiet drink somewhere and have, have some dinner and and probably get on with our life <laughs> a little bit. We have so. waited for this moment for a very long time, so yeah, yeah it's great. It's the club I grew up supporting and obviously Dad playing there and then Josh the last few years. It's got, uh, Collingwood's got a big place in my heart and I love the club a lot so uh, to wear the black and white will be a dream come true. When I think of Collingwood I immediately think of Peter first of all, then Josh, now Nick, so that's um, really special for the family and one game for the weekend, you know. <laughs> standard line but it, that it clearly is family for us. I mean it, it's been a huge part of uh, my, my life and, and our family's life. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty special. Yeah, obviously Dad's um, memories as a player and Josh's memories now um, and then just growing up always going to Collingwood games every weekend and watching the club so yeah, um, lots of fun memories growing up and I can't wait to pull on the jersey.